do comment your thoughts on this whether i should continue developing this engine or not okay so it seems you guys want me to continue working on this engine so in today's video i'm gonna refactor slash rewrite hexa oh you don't know what hexa is well it's just a little game engine i'm currently working on go ahead and give it a star on github.com slash lightline slash hexa also it seems you guys want me to write hexa in c++ which i will do if this video gets 20 likes because as a wise man once said you give me 20 likes and i give you hex and c++ i first rewrote the log class and made it a bit less curved so that you can use log to log yes it has functions such as info status and warn and to construct a parameters to make it a bit more flexible and dynamic then i started working on some graphic stuff by creating a gui class with three nested classes label text and button where a label is just a quad text is text of course, and button is simply a clickable quad currently with no support of in button text. The text class uses Calibri as its default font style and right now there's no way other than changing Hexa's source code to change the font. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want me to add these features in Hexa. After that I rewrote the entity class which I previously wrote. Of course, where I first refactored the quad class and removed the old move and gravity functions. You may ask why? Cause I'm a bad guy. I'll explain later why I got rid of those functions later. But right now, let's talk about the second function, the circle. Here too, I just refactored a few things and then I took a quick break which lasted for about 5 hours or so. What? Then I got back to work and started working on the triangle class. At first, it was a bit tricky for me to render them. But after a 5 minute search, I got it. And drum roll please, for the very first time, now we have triangles in Hexa. Next, it was the turn of the Texas class. But I don't think it needs any change other than getting rid of the old obsolete physics engine kinda thingy. Now remember, I dissed all that physics stuff from the entity class. Well, now it has its own class. The physics class. Wait, what? That's amazing! <laughs> this class will mainly contain three functions, gravity, add force and collision detection. The first two gravity and add force functions were easy to make, but collision detection was not. I know a lot of you guys will say that Pygame has its own built-in collision detection system. So yes, I made one function using it. I know Hexa is very limited, but I'm not trying to make it as powerful as Game Mega or something like that. Then I created an engine class which have functions for creating a game window and taking input, which was really easy, so I'm not going much in detail. But anyways, at this point in time, Hexa is almost refactored and I feel it's pretty good. But don't take my words. Listen what Danny has to say. Wow, that was really cool. 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 Wow. That Unlike last time, I want to make some kind of game, actual playable game, in fact, in Hexa. No matter it is written in Python or has very limited features, but you can still make some small games in it. This is just a small game where you have to collect coins. And because it's just a prototype, so I only added one coin and gave the player the ability to move around. And yeah, when you hit that coin, a text appears. Game over. So this was pretty fun. So I think I'll continue working on this engine. And if you want me to write Hexa in C++, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. The like aim of this video is 20 likes. Hope you'll do it.